Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can create a Google site. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can start by going to your Google Drive and selecting new, and then from the more menu, choosing Google Sites, or simply go to sites.google.com slash new, and you can start creating your site. So let's create a new site down here in the bottom right corner. And this is going to launch all the editing tools that you're going to need. So let's start by giving the site a title. Call it Mr. Burns Classroom Website. And we'll call it History with Mr. Burn. Now, if we want to change that font, we can select different headings, title, small, go back to title, want to reposition it, have it move left or right. Now, if we change the header type, we can go to large banner, banner only, title only, or cover, and then it's really big. Let's go back to banner. Now on the right hand side over here, if you don't like this default look, just select themes and you can go in here and change the color scheme, change your font style, or choose an entirely new theme. And you can even use custom colors right there. And again, can choose your font styles. So now we have that set up, let's go in and insert some content into our page. Now you can use one of these standard layouts. Let's say I want to use this one. And here I'm going to add a little cover image. And I can do that by uploading it, selecting an image, which will go into my Google account to find an image. Pull it from Drive, or you can see other content that I can add here. I'm gonna use the Upload button, and I'm gonna pick a picture that I want to use here as one of my cover images. We'll use that one. And now I can just write, Welcome to the classroom homepage. This is the place to find important information about the class. Now if I want to add more down below this, I can go in and add any kind of content that we see here. I want to add a document down below, or I want to add my calendar. Let's say I want to add my calendar to the home page. Select calendar. I'll choose that calendar and insert that. Now, if I want to move it, just click and drag. And now it's centered on the page. I can change my overall size of it by clicking and dragging on the corner. And then repositioning it again as I'd want to. Now let's go and add another page to this. Let's choose pages and down in the bottom we'll select new page and I'll call this one important handouts for parents. And you'll notice across the top of our navigation, we now have a link for important pages for parents. And here, again, I'll go and put in some materials for parents. Let's say a document. I could pull this from my Google Documents. And I'll insert that in there. Now, if I want to remove that, just click Delete, and it's gone. 
Now, if I want to put something else in here, let's say I wanted to embed a video, you can use the embed code provided by the video source, video provider. If you're using YouTube, of course, just hit YouTube and you can search for a YouTube video and insert it into the page. Let's say I want to have something about the War of 1812. Now I can click and drag, put that into place. Again, if I don't want it, I'll just delete it. So anything that you see on the right-hand side on the Insert menu, you can just click and drag and put into the page. When you're happy with your site and all the content that you've added to it, hit the Publish button, and you'll see your site web address is created for you. And now it's published. We'll view that published site. And there we have the link that we'll give to students and parents to see the website. Now, if you decide to unpublish it, just click the unpublish button at any time. If you make an update to it, it will automatically update. You don't need to republish it. Now in the upper right hand corner, we also see this share with others button and here we can change the settings on who can see it so right now it says only people at free tech for teachers can find and view let's change that one and say anyone can see it you may have noticed there there's also an option to say only specific people can view it when it's published Now, if I want to invite people to work on the page with me, let's say I want to have uh, my buddy Max work on it with me. I'm going to say that Max can edit. And now Max has the option to edit any part of the website. So that's a short overview of how to get started making a website with Google Sites. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.